Do you think that it is now the time where Western nations need to deal with Hamas? Well, I think it's about time for the Western nations to stop the unconditional support, both moral and financial, and in fact, political, to Israel. The issue, once again, it's not about Hamas. This reductionist approach of reducing the struggle of the Palestinian people since 1948 to only Hamas is very problematic. Hamas was only founded in 1984. There were decades of suffering before Hamas ever existed. calls from all over the world for an investigation into war crimes on both sides. The United States says any war crimes investigation will imperil the ceasefire. What do you think? I don't think this is accurate, Samantha. What the Human Rights Commissioner said was that the aggression from the side of Israel could amount to war crimes. She didn't say the same about the attacks from the uh, side of the uh, of Gaza, basically. So uh, once again, we're not talking about two sides. We're talking about a nuclear uh, state with one of the strongest armies globally and stateless people who have been suffering for decades. Uh, Samantha, uh, those kids were ki killed, basically, from uh, the side of the Palestinians. Those are not Hamas, and not only, by the way, the Palestinians. Do you remember Rachel Corey, the American activist, who was killed by the Israelis in 2003? They are killing journalists, they are killing activists, not to say the truth. So once again, it's not a two-side aggression, it's basically an occupation, and Israel is the last colonial power that we know of in our time and age.